What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another day and welcome to another j j j j journey with your boy Chuck It Up. And for those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Charles Wilson. I'm a full time employee, part time entrepreneur, and YouTube vlogger. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys get notified when your boy be putting up new videos. But you already know it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 9 p.m. Sorry about the notification on the computer. But, anyways, let's get into this. I want to talk about. I don't know, a lot of my videos I've been doing with like college and stuff like that, so I might as well just continue on that train. This next one's gonna talk about the top three pros and cons of becoming a math major to me, like general math. So for those of you guys that know me, I graduated from ASU with my BS in mathematics, uh, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. So I wanted to put a list together for those of you that are looking to become a math major and haven't decided yet, I wanna give you guys my experience during my time as a math major. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually start with the cons so we can end on a good note. So the top three cons from my personal experience. Again, everybody has different experiences. You know, on this channel, we're all about sharing experiences so you guys could, you know, see other perspectives. So the top three cons, number one is diversity. During my time as a math major, the, the courses that I took majority of my classmates didn't look like me there really wasn't much diversity and if there was diversity um, again there was no one that really looked like me so when there was time to get into groups um, i always felt like you know the odd person out and it didn't really bother me it's just kind of unfortunate so usually when they say hey you know let's get into groups everybody like got into their groups and like you know i'm sitting in the middle of the class everybody's like in groups around me and usually I just kind of wait for the professor to kind of just assign me a group because, you know, once they say get into a group, you know, no one's showing eye contact or anything like that. So when they talked about getting into groups, I just felt like, you know, people's eyes were kind of like not going towards my way. They're kind of looking away, which is fine. I guess you work with the people that you work with. Um, even when the professor was talking about work with a new group, you know, wasn't really much people like looking to work with me and, you know, I just kind of got used to it. So again, diversity as far as in mathematics and my, uh, at ASU and my degree and my courses, there wasn't much diversity. And even when I graduated, I was the only one that looked like me walking across the stage. There's literally like 10 of us and nobody looked like me. So Again, that's that's a con, at least again, from my experience. All right, so number two is you're a jack of all trades. Now this is, it's just, this could be, you know, perceived in two different ways. And again, I put this on the con list, so I'll get to the other side in just a bit. So jack of all trades, the reason why this is kind of on, well, the reason why this is on the con list is because you don't specialize in anything. During my time as a general math major, you kind of have your hand in everything because I, I shared classes with engineers, uh, statisticians, or stat majors. Um, again, you're, you're working with different groups and you're learning all of these skills, but you're not specializing in any of them, which I'll get into you know, my next number three. But again, being a jack of all trades, again, in certain aspects, it could be good or it could be bad. In my situation, I felt like it was a negative because I didn't really specialize in anything and I didn't feel like I had anything to offer once I graduated which kind of leads to number three, difficulty getting a job. So when you're searching for a job and most math majors, well, at least I would assume most math majors had this issue. Um, after I graduated and I started applying for jobs, I started to notice that even where the job requires some type of you know analytical thinking or some type of math background, they're looking for more specialized math uh, majors, whether it be finance, engineering, computer science, these things, they're looking for more specialized people. And again, as a math major, I was able to take classes with these certain people because we shared classes, we had the same teacher, um, did the same problems. It's just that outside of that, they most of their classes were um, in line with you know certain software, certain experiences, opposed to general math, you're kind of, again, you're in the whole, you have your hand in everything. So. I just felt like that didn't help me a lot when I was looking for jobs after I graduated, which is one of the reasons why I went back to school to get my master's degree in a completely different field. I don't wanna make it seem like everything was bad about the math degree. So there were some positive experience that I took out of that and I'll start with, you know, number one, obviously. So jack of all trades. Again, I put that on the con list, but it's also on the pro list because when you're applying for jobs, there's different ways you can market yourself or, um, you know, talk about yourself in the interviews to fit their kind of requirements. Now, it's 
it's difficult because again, they're looking for specialized and you got to convince them that you have enough experience with, you know, in that specialized field or you're comfortable learning. It'll be easier for you to learn or you have experience X, Y, Z. Being a jack of all trades can work as a positive because again, you could kind of fit yourself to an actual job description opposed to if you were very specific, you couldn't go from engineer to finance or anything like that. Being a jack of all trades kind of helped me out as well in the job field, but not as much. Um, so it kind of balances each other out. So number two, the, the good thing about math majors or math, people with math degrees is that the perception is that you're smart. Now, not to say I'm stupid, it's just that as soon as you tell somebody that you're a math major or you have a math degree, their instant you know, thought is that, whoa, this person is smart or good with numbers, which yes, you're good with numbers, but, and the reason why I am saying this is because during my time as a math major, I really didn't feel like I learned a lot and I, don't, I didn't really apply a lot of what I learned in school to my job now. So one thing I do wanna talk about that I used, that I learned in my math degree, is the logic. So a, a lot, I took a lot of classes where it's theoretical math, it had to deal with a lot of logic, theorems and everything. Uh, when you're dealing with logic, that does apply to my um, everyday job. As far as when I'm doing formulas, you have to use logic to kind of create a formula or an algorithm. Um, so that was pretty helpful as far as like in the, getting my math degree. So number three, they actually did a study and those that got a math degree, the skills that you learn throughout that, throughout those courses, they actually can further your study. So they actually showed that those with a math degree performed a lot better on the LSAT and the GMAT um, compared to other majors. They also show that people with a math degree are better at handling basic life tasks. So I feel pretty good with that. Um, I guess I can concur with that. Um, but that, that again, these are my experiences. Maybe you guys might have some. So for those of you guys that are math majors and want to pass some information or your experiences along to those that are looking to become math majors, feel free to hit the comment section below. I'd like to hear your guys' um, experiences. And for those of you guys that are you know, thinking about becoming a math major, feel free to hit the comment section and tell me why you guys are looking to become a math major. And I'll definitely reach back out to you guys, again, trying to answer any of your questions you guys have. Because um, again, it's all about sharing experiences because your experiences could help others and and it can help others make informed decisions. So hopefully you guys like this video and if you did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Make sure it's blue so you know your boy be getting credit. But anyways, hit that subscribe button and in the notification bell so you guys get the notifications when your boy be putting up new videos Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 p.m. I know you guys are gonna be there. Anyways, as always, action turns knowledge into power and I'll see you guys in the next video. Chokey beat.